Hi, my name is Chris, uh, and I'll be talking you through some Evernote stuff this morning. Uh, you'll be able to find me on Twitter at, at @chrisrat, um, and hopefully I'll be able to do this Evernote demo in under ten minutes. Um, what I usually use Evernote for is to capture things from around the web, uh, anything that comes into my inbox that I know I will need to keep, uh, either for expenses or other things that just have caught my attention. Then I forward it into Evernote. Um, I capture PDFs and Word docs and Excel docs and what have you all in one place so that I don't lose it. Um, the other thing that I use it for is to create to-do lists and then checklists and all that sort of thing within Evernote. So I'll, I'll try and demonstrate two of those things for you now. Um, if you see at the top uh, here, I've already found a, a website with, with some information that might be useful. Um, so on the top right hand side here I've got an extension for Chrome that will allow me to clip the whole page. Now I've already added in tags, decided I want to save the page URL and the full page so I'll just hit save and it will start to grab that. So you go back to Evernote itself you can see that there it is it's taken it and put it into my notebook um, there's the page itself it's exactly the same as we saw it um, including the source URL as well it just appears there if I would ever wanted to go back and see if it had been updated or what have you um, so that's the easiest way of clipping anything into Evernote um, there's also email so if you open up email um, you can see I've saved Evernote email address there. I'm going to call it email to Evernote. And received some kind of spell this morning. And then you hit send. So that should then be heading away into Evernote. And it usually goes to the default notebook that you've got set up. And again, here we go, straight away, it's appeared in my Evernote inbox. And there from here, you can move that note anywhere you like. So you can put it, you can leave it where it is, or you can put it into a different folder. So that's pretty much it from grabbing perspective. I mean, there's a few other things you can grab from iFi if you've got that on your camera. That, I found that out by mistake when I uploaded 200 photos to Evernote by mistake. Um, and then you can... Um, grab from Twitter so if you added the M Y E N at the end of your Twitter uh, at the end of your tweet that, that would save that into Twitter you can do a few other things but it's all generally around emails so if you wanted to save an RSS feed you could take that from an email so RSS to email function um, would take it into Evernote as well um, on the left hand side you can see all the different folders I've got set up um, you can see here for example there's a public one that if you wanted to put anything uh, for other people to look at, then you put it into the public folder. That would allow you, for example, as I know that some teachers are doing at the minute, is to save children's work into there and uh, give it a tag of their name, of the pupil's name, and you can then share it with the pupil and the parent and other teachers as well. So um, it's simply quite an easy way of doing APP. Um, if you add tags in here as well, then you can see all the tags I've got. Um, it gives you a chance to make sure that you've got things that you can find for later use. Uh, one quite funky thing is that you can search within Evernote and it will find the things, even if it's in handwriting, uh, it'll find it and deliver it back to you. So here's something I prepared earlier. And it's my bad handwriting. If it can search my handwriting, it can do pretty much anything. I quite often take, uh, the, oh, I've got an Android phone, and I quite often take photos of something from there and upload it into Evernote. And that can be business cards or a receipt with some writing at the top of it, and it makes it really simple to search anything. You can search the receipt because it um, looks at the text, the printed text or the handwriting at the top of the receipt as well. Um, you, also on the app that you get for Android, you can record your voice uh, or anything else and upload it into Evernote for uh, listening to later and I believe you can search within it but I, uh, you, can, you can see. The last thing you can do that I was going to show you was to use notes in here for checkboxes or to-do lists as we call it. Um, just to finish the screen, cast and go on holiday. So I can add in here a tick box and close the screen and then that's pretty much done. So anytime then I want to go back into 
that folder. I think I saved it into my to-do list. I can go back in there, edit it, say I'm about to finish the screencast, and in half an hour I'm about to go on holiday. Um, that is pretty much it. There's, there's a whole host of other things you can uh, add security to bank details if you want to in here and password protect files, but it's more simple if you go and have a play with it. So get in there and have fun. Thank you very much.